hi guys you are welcome to my youtube channel today we'll be looking at how we can scalp uh boom and crash index on the smaller time frames but before we go to the smaller time frames let's look at what has happened on the higher time frame i'm on boom 1000 index and on the higher time frame i can see that price is forming like a top around here look at the top around here so we'll be expecting price to go down look at this call yesterday's candle with a pin bar a bearish pin bar telling us that price is going to go down at least to the low of 9515 area so if you're thinking of buying a uh, boom uh 1000 index you need to think about it one more time because it's trying to go down so you might draw uh, an ascending trend line somewhere around here and a break below this trend line you can sell up down to 9515 area that's on the daily time frame let's look at what we have on the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame we can see this tweezer top uh, this is a bearish reversal uh, candlestick pan pattern and price is going to the low to the low around the 9528 uh region so you might consider uh selling boom 1000 index for now let's look at the one hour time frame on the one hour time frame we can see a descending trend line uh a descending trend line and price is expecting that particular trend line uh look at what we have here like a, a bullish candlestick then the reverse the reversal of this particular bullish candlestick and price is forming a shadow at the top uh, with this week uh indicating that the bears have stepped in and they are pushing price down so look for how to sell a uh, boom 1000 1, index if you can trade against the spike uh, look at the bearish trend of the 30 minutes time frame and look at a, a price fell rose up a bit then it's falling and falling below the low of the initial candlestick so this is a bearish uh, signal or bearish formation you might want to consider selling look at look at what's happening on the 15 minutes time frame if you like to trade against the spike you might consider selling a boom 1000 index same thing on the five minutes time frame the bears are in charge with the few little spikes that occurred uh, the bears have reversed completely uh, below the low of the spike candles look at the one minute time frame as well you can see that bears are pushing price lower so you might want to join and scalp sell boom 1000 index for some points let's look at crash 1000 index on the daily time frame it's going up and uh, the way i'm looking at it is already above the eye of the bearish this eye of this bearish candle eye of yesterday's candle and eye of this bearish candle we initially this bearish candle gave us something like evening star pattern but that is com completely reversed now and you can see this arami these two candles like a bullish arami and uh, you can see price is going up going up to 6903.6 area where we have the all-time high so you might want to trade and trade uh, uh and buy uh crash 1000 index up to the up to the all-time high point okay that's that on the daily time frame on the four hour time frame we can see that the bulls have stepped in and bulls look at this uh last four previous four hour candle a solid uh bullish candle showing the strength of the buyers and they have already broken this particular order block around here this other block this resistance area has already been broken so you might see that price will go up up to the 6903 area so look for buying opportunities on the one hour time frame you can see the strength of the bulls they are they keep pushing price up and as long as the uh, ascending trend line is respected you might want to buy uh uh boom uh, crash 1000 index we have uh this other block around here that can serve as support in case price drops drops so price might drop to test this support and continue its upward direction the overall direction is bullish direction so you might want to consider buying boom uh, crash 1000 index you can see on the 30 minutes time frame still buying still buying still buying with little or no drawdown or pullback okay 15 minutes is also buying look at this pullback here so if you want to enter the buy trade you can use this pullback to measure your stop loss if you buy you got your stop loss could you buy at this current point your stop loss could be somewhere around here so that's that for crash 1000 on 15 minutes time frame on the five minutes time frame we can see uh this spike down and price is still going up every little spike 
it's already reversed and the price continues to go up so we expect this to be reversed and price to continue to go up uh one minute time frame we have a range did the range top on the one minute time frame and you can see the range bottom on the one minute time frame this is the range bottom on the one minute time frame we might want to look at what will happen as soon as the ring top gets broken we jump in on the buy trade okay that, so that's that for crash 1000 index let's look at boom 500 index what do we have on boom 500 index you can see that price of boom 500 index uh dropped and then we have this uh bullish uh, reversal or retracement pattern but as you can see pi price just spiked up uh so more like we might be seeing a reversal where we now have something like a left shoulder some, somewhere around here for price to continue is downward movement you might be having a left shoulder somewhere around here so that's that for the daily time frame on boom 500 index let's look at the fire four hour time frame on four hour time frame we can see uh something like inverted head and shoulder formation this is the left shoulder uh these are right at the head and this is the right shoulder so if that completes and the neckline is broken uh we might see price going up if this neckline gets broken let me put it this way if this neckline gets broken we might see price going up so that's that for uh boom 500 index on the four hour time frame on the one hour time frame what we can see is that uh, price is uh, you know trying to go up okay we can see that this structure here uh, was broken around here and price is retesting this particular order block around here. we have this other block this support around here price is retest retesting that support for price to break this particular structure and around there so if price breaks this structure we might see price uh, going up so that's that for the one hour time frame on the 30 minutes time frame what do we have you can see a bullish structure in place and price is restre respecting this particular trend line and as much as this trend line gets respected and we continue to see spike uh, to the top um, i mean if we see spike to uh, the 3720 area and then a break of that area we might have a break of structure to the upside and we might jump in on the bullish trend on the 30 minutes time frame let's look at the 15 minutes time frame uh the 15 minutes time frame we have a, a range more like a range with the range top and this is the range bottom so we expect uh price to break out of the range and with this current candle it appears as if uh this particular channel might be broken to the top side if it gets broken to the top side we'll first of all see our take profit at the 3719 or 20 area so if that gets broken we see for that upside of price of boom 500 index let's look at the five minutes time frame five minutes time frame we can see the channel is this going to get respected for us to see further down down movement or is it going to break at the top only time will tell but for, for now on the five minute time frame uh boom 500 index is ranging downwards on the one minute time frame what do we have you can see the buyers are in the market and they are trying to break a uh, price to the top so you might want to monitor the range this range uh, the range within the channel once it gets broken you might enter your trade all right so let's look at uh, crash 500 index crash 500 index has been ranging in the last uh, uh, couple of months it's been ranging in the last couple of months so we might want to see where the range uh, will break out of but for now on the daily time frame price is already giving us this double bottom of uh, the first bottom at this point this is the first bottom at uh, this point the second bottom is at this point we have the second bottom around here so we might see price you know testing this descending trend line soon on crash uh 500 index at the test of this trend line we we'll see price dropping uh, back for us to have a triangle of course we might also see price coming to the trend line again and then dropping until price finds direction and breaks out of the range but for now on the daily time frame price is in the range okay let's look at the four hour time frame what do we have on the four hour time frame you can see the bulls are trying to pick up pace you can see a pattern like a tree drive pattern where we have 
uh, this low at this point we have a low at this point we have a higher low uh, this is a higher low at this point and this is another higher low at this point okay more like a tree drive uh, pattern so we expect price to go up as it already shows on the shows on the screen that the buyers are in charge look at the break of structure uh, it, it test of that break and then we see price going further up on the one hour time frame what do we have the buyers are in charge as the trend line ascending trend line gets respected and structure it continues to be broken so you might consider buying crash uh, 500 index look at what we have on the 30 minutes time frame the buyers are in charge on the 30 minutes time frame. look at the break of this flag a bullish flag it got broken and you can see what's happening price is going up all right on the 15 minutes time frame we can see the buyers are still in control though the uh, the sellers are trying to uh, come in but we have more buying power or buying momentum in place on the five minutes time frame it's currently buying although we are in a range we might want to wait for a range break i look at the range this is the range this is the range top this is the range top and then we have a range bottom this range bottom okay so we might want to wait for a range breakout before we enter our buy trade. And finally, on the one minute time frame, we can see that price is ranging. So we might, wait, we might want to wait for uh, a range breakout before we enter our trade. So that's that for today's video. You can go ahead and click the subscribe button, subscribe to the channel so that you get to see more of our videos. Okay, you can click the like button if you like what you just saw. You can drop uh comment below the video ask question or share the video to your friends and loved ones you can also click the bell button below the video for, for you to be notified when we release another video tomorrow you can go to our website www.bnfxtrader.com to learn more how to trade boom and crash you can also go to another website of ours fxfables.com to learn more on how to trade boom and crash Should i come away tomorrow it's bye for now